Here I am back in my sort of sandbox Algebra 2 course and I've shown you how to add a menu item and I'm just going to add another one just to go through it again. I'm going to go to Modify and I want to add I want to add a content page and I'm just going to call it, I don't know, Unit 1. You can always change these and I'll show you how to do that. And I want to add it to the main level. And it says it's been added. I can see it there. I'm going to add one more. It's a content page, unit two. And I want to add it to the main level. And it's been added. There you go. So I've, I've got some content here. There's nothing added to it. But intro to the course. So let's say I want to start adding some things. And I want to add some, some words and maybe some links, maybe a picture. Here's the thing. I told you earlier you need to look for the gear. A little gear symbol. So if I want to change intro to the course, it says the content for this item is not yet completed. Well, I go up here to this modify, this gear, and I have two options, view, which is what I'm doing now, or manage, which is what I'd like to do. It's sort of like instead of manage, it's your editing. So I click on that and boom, there you can see there are your sort of standard menu items for, for adding content. So if I start typing, and you can start typing stuff there. Um, and then when you're ready, this is one quirk. With Open Class, it's not really a quirk, but we're so used to Google saving things for us every couple of seconds. Um, you really do need to save changes. It's not going to give you a reminder, hey, you better save, or if you try to go away from the core, or go to a different area without saving, it's just not going to save it. So save often. And it's saving, and it says my changes have been saved. Wonderful. So I want to see what that looks like. Again, it still is in this editing window, which looks kind of weird. If I want to see what it kind of looks like, I usually just go back to View. And that's pretty much what your students are going to see. Okay, so if I want to go back to manage that, and I want to add some more stuff, I can add more stuff. Um, I'll add a link, and links are a little bit tricky. Not really, but if you click up here, you'll see the mouse over, it says Add a Link. Um, most interfaces that I've used. When you add a link, you highlight what you would want to be a link, and then you go to link and just paste it in. Here you actually have to add the text in this window. So I can either link to content you know, within my course, I can insert an image, which is kind of nice, but I want to link to a website. And I've actually got to type the text here and let's say I just want to link it back to Google, I don't know. And add the link. And there's the link. Um, if I try to, you can try, I've been frustrated with this, if you try to highlight it and add the link that way, you still have to re-enter all that text. Oop, and I want to save. And my changes have been saved. But you can see some of it's a fairly limited menu here, but you can add, um, um, you can insert a date, you can insert time, you can put a table in, um, just basic formatting stuff here. Um, so that's basically it. And I'll just pop away into my unit one, which doesn't have anything into it, but back into the intro to the course. And there's my stuff.